What's good everybody on YouTube? It is your boy Forrest Ripperton back at it again with another video. You dig? And today guys, I'm so excited about this video because I haven't made a video like this in a long, 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 long time. And that's because I haven't really went shopping. And yesterday I went to go sell some clothes because I had a bunch of clothes in my closet that I wasn't wearing. And like I always do, I like to sell my clothes so I can buy new ones instead of just coming out of my pocket with fresh new money to buy new clothes. So yesterday I went to New York to go to Buffalo Exchange, one of my favorite, favorite stores. It's like a secondhand store that people go to sell their clothes and all type of stuff. So you can come across designer clothes, you can come across almost anything in there. So I decided to go out there and sell some clothes that I just wasn't wearing that was just sitting in my closet. So I went there, sold some stuff, and decided to pick up some new things. And for guys who don't really know anything about Buffalo Exchange, Buffalo Exchange is like a secondhand shop. It's not really a thrift store, it's like a secondhand shop where you can go, like I said, sell your own clothes, and they buy clothes from you, and you can either get cash back or you can get store credit. I always get store credit because I like shopping there all the time. If you do cash back, they give you 30% of what they're gonna sell, but if you do store credit, they give you 50% towards the store, and that's all always the best bargain. I've been shopping at Buffalo Exchange for a long, long time. And for people who do know me and have watched my channel, I was living out there for like four or five months. And that literally was the only store I really went to to go shop and get my clothes from. Like when I tell you guys, if you visit New York, that's the place that you just have to visit if you are into like fashion and secondhand shopping, vintage pieces, all types of that. I really feel like that's a store you should really go visit. And I literally went there almost every day to go shop. So. Buffalo Exchange is like one of the best places and I've been shopping there for a very long time ever since I've seen it. Uh, when I first went to New York, it was like right by the bus stop and that was just so convenient. I was like, wait, what is this place? And ever since I went there, it was just like love at first sight. So I'm gonna make a like video of like what you should do with your clothes that you don't want or how to shop with no money. So that's gonna be another video. Comment below if you think I should make that video. But yeah, uh, I decided to go to New York yesterday to sell some of my clothes and they gave me when i sold the clothes i had like certain pieces sometimes they don't take everything they just take what's in style so at summertime they were taking like short sleeve shirts uh like summer flowy jackets i mean not jackets shirts and shorts and maybe nice pants heard it they only take certain pieces that are good with the season that's in so they took a lot of my clothes and they would either, like I said, if you sell clothes, they either give you 30% of what they're going to sell it for in cash or they give you 50% of store credit. So 30% cash, if I want to cash back, I was going to get like $75 from what I brought. And I brought like a hefty amount of stuff. I brought a lot of pants and I brought a lot of shirts. Or they gave me 50% towards store credit, so I got like 120 something dollars. So of course, like I said, I always do store credit. So I had $120 of store credit to shop with. So once I got the money, I was like, all right, let me look and see what I could find. I wasn't gonna try to use all that money at one time. So I looked and I found like a pair of pants. I found a sweater. I'm about to show you guys in a minute, but I found some clothes from there. Also, I went to a vintage store called Metropolis right across the street from um, Flight Club. They just moved it, it's on like Broadway. And I've been in there a couple times. They sell a bunch of vintage, vintage pieces. The prices are very high for certain pieces because it's like an actual like vintage place. They're very curated pieces. So some of the pieces could be high, low, depending on which piece you get, like which uh, band you get and things like that. So I went in there and I found me a t-shirt as well. And I also have made two pieces. If you guys know, I have like my own little like brand that I'm trying to, you know, create and stuff like that called Rain333. And I've made two pieces and I also picked up those Yeezys that you guys have seen in my last video. So I'm about to just go ahead and show you guys these pieces right now. Alright guys, so here is the first piece that I picked up from Buffalo Exchange. It is this like, I don't know how to explain this material. Oh, what the? I don't know how to explain this material on here, but it has like an itchy feel to it. And I know what you guys are talking about. You're probably like, why did you buy that? It's like summertime, it's hot outside, you're never going to wear that. But I like buying pieces that I know I'm going to wear later on and I've learned the hard way of going in the stores and seeing something I really like and not picking it up and just wishing that I had that piece. So I had to pick this piece up ASAP. I tried it on, it looked crazy. It looks so good. This piece looks really good to me. I like the pattern that was going across the top. The hood was cool. It just fits so good to me. So definitely had to pick this piece up. And the next piece that I picked up right here is a pair of denims right here, black denims. And if you guys know me, 
black pants have become one of my favorite like i only have black pants in my closet now i don't know what happened but i've came to really like only black pants in my wardrobe so when you see me if you see pictures on my instagram or anything like that i'm gonna probably most likely have on black pants but i found some nice g-star denims right here i got them for 40 dollars. i don't know if you guys can see the tag so you're gonna get pieces like this, like G-Star. They even have Raph Simmons in there. They have Rick Owen. They have like all the brands you could probably think of. Like I said, any and everybody comes in that store and sells their closet. I really like the way they fit. I had to go try them on because my pants have to fit a certain way. I don't like really skinny pants and I don't like really, really big baggy pants, but definitely don't like really skinny jeans. So these definitely fit perfect. They have like the little buckles on the back. It's just the aesthetic to them, like the little things that matter on these pants like they're really tough and really sweet the pockets on the front of the pants really got me i really like that this was the second piece that i picked up from buffalo exchange so now on to the piece that i picked up from metropolis the place that i told you guys that they sell real vintage t-shirts from like different bands different like race car nascar stuff like 90s jackets race car jackets like almost anything vintage if you think of the word vintage vintage fashion 90s 80s stuff like that that's what they have in that store so i would recommend anybody if you go into new york i don't know if they have any other stores anywhere else but definitely check out metropolis in new york and this is the shirt that i picked up this nascar foot all print t-shirt on the front and on the back i was looking for a shirt like this for a long time because I, for some reason the nascar tees really really attract me I just was looking for a piece and I couldn't find a piece that really fit me well or it just looked good. So when I went in there, I saw like, and also, also I needed a white vintage t-shirt. I don't have any like white vintage t-shirts and I was looking for like some band tees, but a lot of their band tees were like $95 and I wasn't paying that. So I found the NASCAR one and I had like five NASCAR tees in my hand and I went to the dressing room. People be so loud out here. But I went to the dressing room with like five shirts and this is the... And this is the only one. Oh my god. And this is the And this is the only one that fit perfectly on me. It has like that really boxy loose feel on it and it's just so perfect. I paid $45 if you can see. I paid $45 for this t-shirt. I know to a lot of people you might be thinking like, "Oh, I'm not paying $45 for a shirt." But I really wanted this shirt really bad and I was just like, I'm not passing up on it. Like I said, if I see something I like nowadays, I buy it right then and there because I do not want to regret it later on. So yeah, this t-shirt is excellent. I really love this shirt and yeah. Okay, now to talk about the pieces that I made. Like I said, you guys know I've been starting this brand called Rain333. So I've been trying to like play around with some pieces that I like. I just like going up, these birds are stripping. They're over there fighting. But yeah, I've been playing with, around with like a but They're really having it up right now. Yo, go ahead. But yeah, I like to play around with a bunch of ideas in my room. I like spray painting on clothing and going to different places and just trying to figure out what I want to do with certain clothing. And this is one of the first pieces that I made. It says Rain333 on the front and spray paint. And I made this custom sleeve with the safety pins on it and on the back. It says stop doubting three times. So this is one of the pieces that I was playing with. It's a cropped sweater. And I wore this to New York yesterday. And if you guys follow me on Instagram, you see me wear it. But yeah, this is one of the pieces that I made. And I really like this. This sweater fits really perfect. And I tried to make this sleeve like three times and eventually, finally I like perfected it and got it to look right. But yeah, this is one of the pieces that I made. And I really like it. So let me know in the comments below how y'all feel about this joint. And also I made a second one right here. This is like a mustard, like vintage-y look uh, sweater as well. It says Rain333 on the front as well. And I did a bunch of distressing on it. Gave it like a distressed look with the distressing at the bottom. And I also made the sleeve as well. This is lower on the sleeve. The other one was like up here. I made it lower on this one. This was the first one I made actually. So. I put the pins on the sleeve right here, cropped the sleeves. I didn't crop the body part of this because it already like fit short a little bit. But yeah, definitely made this one, distressed it. And on the back it says, I'm still figuring it out with the dot, dot, dot. So this is definitely another piece that I really, really like. Let me know how you guys feel about these shirts. Well, let me know how you guys feel about these sweaters. I really like them. 
but I would really love to see how you guys feel about them. But yeah, this is the second one that I made. And for the last pickups, uh, you guys have seen, if you guys seen my last video, I picked up the Yeezy 700 V2 Vantas. These are literally my favorite sneaker in my closet. I only have like three pairs of shoes, guys. So, and I'm getting rid of like one pair already, and I'm probably gonna get rid of another pair. But these are the my favorite shoe in my closet, and I literally am gonna wear these every day, all day, until there's holes in the shoe, probably. But yeah, this is another pickup. If you guys didn't see my styling and Walmart video, I suggest you guys go check that out. I'm gonna put the link in the uh, description below. But yeah, these are the last pickups that I picked up and let me know if you guys cop these joints let me know if you guys like these but these are definitely the last pickups in this video so yeah I didn't do a review on them let me know if you guys want to do a review want me to do a review on them they're just an all black shoe but definitely let me know if you guys want me to do a review on that one thank you guys for watching the video like subscribe comment below how you feel about all the pieces that I showed let me know if you guys ever been to Buffalo Exchange before let me know how y'all feel about the pieces and yeah, that's pretty much it. I'll see you guys in my next video. So yeah, it's your boy Forrest Ripperton and we are out. Yiddy! Yeah. Yeah. Sheesh!